Oh, wow, you're really going to town. The first part of assembling a tent is to lay out all your equipment in a neat and orderly manner. I'm so sorry, but this is the spot where we usually build the campfire. It is? And we set up all our sleeping bags just over there. And our cooking equipment here, near the campfire. Can I help you move your... set over to the edge of the meadow? That's okay, Strawberry. I want to keep it in a certain order, so I'll do it myself. You guys go ahead. Don't mind me. in the very bitty world has happened to Orange, Cherry, and Plum. Maybe they got smart and went home. Sour. So, where's the marshmallows? I've got my stick. Let's get roasting. That's for after dinner. And we can't start dinner until we find the other girls. I'll go back down the trail and look for them, Strawberry. Thanks, sweet. I'll come with you. <gasps> Cherry! Plum! Orange! Where have you been? Are you all right? So sorry, Strawberry. Long story. You wouldn't even believe it. But it wasn't over yet. The day ended with a sleepover. <laughs> Which turned into a pillow fight. Fight! I knew it. Every time we get to that scene, she loses it. Wish I could have a birthday like that. <sighs> Mine are never fun. How come? Gotta share them with my sister, sweet. Just once I wish I could have a birthday all my own. But I guess that's never, ever, never gonna happen. Uh, how come? Oh, <laughs> yeah, cause she's your twin. Her birthday's always gonna be your birthday, too! Wow, looks good. Thanks, Sour. <gasps> oh, and please thank Sweet, too. <sighs> Very best friends forever. Never let each other better in you. Nuh-uh. Uh-huh. Uh, girls, I really need to practice for Cafe Cabaret. It's an evening of entertainment I host in the cafe. It's in a couple of days. Oh, we'll help you. Testing. <sighs> Ugh, how do you turn this thing on? <laughs> Ooh, we are live. Hit it, Sadie Bug. Very best. Friends forever, a fur, a fur, a fur, a fur. Give me that. <laughs> Very best friends for forever. Forever. <laughs> we never let each other today. <laughs> 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 
eats. Got a cucumber cooler, yam surprise, cantaloupe chips, side of slaw, two sides of slaw, and one chopped celery cup. Anytime you're ready, Strawberry. What are you guys doing? A music track for Strawberry's birthday video. I'm putting it together like a birthday memory album so Strawberry can post it on our very best bits page. Huh. Want to try one more before lunch? <laughs> if we can do the narration without giggling this time. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Every time I see that scene of me with the feathers... <laughs> <clears throat> okay. Serious? <laughs> Serious. <sighs> Let's roll one. Strawberry Shortcake Birthday Memories Video, take three. Rolling! Really, I thought it would be just like any other day. Because I'd forgotten what day it was. But I was about to be reminded. It began with breakfast in bed. <laughs> oh, uh, I'm sorry, Mr. Longface. with Orange and Plum, just minding our own business, not bothering a soul, when all of a sudden... <gasps> Butter and Mushberries! My backpack! The Marshmallows! Quick, catch them! Marshmallows. But suddenly, Orange ran out of tree. Plum and I had to think fast. She stuck a perfect ten landing. <laughs> How did you ever get the backpack back? Oh, yeah, we uh, made a trade with the bird. Orange's almond for my backpack. You mean there's not going to be any shaved almonds for my s'more than s'mores? Come on, is that what really made you late? No, it's not. <gasps> Cherry's just trying to cover up for me. The truth is, it was all my fault. It was the canteen of chocolate milk. <laughs> Like she said, we was about halfway up the trace, resting her dogs for a spell. Hey now, Plum, ain't that 
for strawberries, hot chocolate. We're meant to save that for around the campfire. Ah, oh, dang, Nabbit, y'all are right. Must be off my rocker. Then I up and recollected I'd been hankering to show the gals a new dance routine I'd been working on. Hey now, look here. Might come in handy next time we're high stepping at a square dance. It went down a crater hole. Boy, howdy. We're in for it now. That strawberry's hot chocolate. Gotta get it back. We're with you, partner. Brisk up, gals. Here goes the nothing. So, by come, we clumb down into that fire hole. Hold your horses now. Where'd that canteen get to? By all rights, should be right here. <laughs> Does. She really knows how to get into the mind of a criminal. Criminal? Mm-hmm. 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 Well, my keen powers of deduction tell me that you're... Going on a nature hike. How'd you guess? It was no guess. I asked myself, why would these girls have butterfly nets and binoculars? What a coincidence. We were just asking ourselves, why don't we have nature guidebooks? What nature guidebooks? The ones you were going to bring? Oops. I think they got boxed up to make room for all the new Patty Persimmon mysteries. Well, are you going to join us for the hike? You might want to change. Oh, girls, I'm sorry. I don't want to hold you up. See, I really need to practice my detecting skills. We have muffins, your favorite blueberry. You do? Oh, no thank you. I don't care for muffins. Huh? Huh? See you later. I'm off to solve another mystery. Uh, isn't it Patty Persimmon who doesn't like muffins? Not Blueberry. I mean, I like Patty Persimmon books too, but what happened to our friend Blueberry? <sighs> That's the real mystery. That's the most incredible manicure ever! But there's more! <laughs> They're musical! Oh. Wow. Oh. I call them glamicures! They're the greatest! The very best! Most creative salon beautification! Thanks! Oh, thank 
you. since raspberry lip gloss. I'm so glad you like them. This is the greatest thing ever. It is the greatest thing I've ever seen. And here you go, Lemon. And thank you for the wonderful Glamacure. You'd never believe me. Better you should see. With your own eyes. Oh, we'll see what? Uh. <gasps> see that. Oh, what's happened to that glimmerberry plant? <sighs> it's caught a case of the rare, the unusual, the mysterious Platus Platus. What is woozus? Platus Platus. It's a condition which causes the plants to turn plaid and polka dotted. Oh, is it bad? Oh, it's not good. And from a fashion sense, plaid and polka dots, awful. What causes it? That's a mystery. I recall reading somewhere, it's a lack of a certain vitamin. But which one, I can't recall. Does it hurt the berries? Uh, not that I remember, but I don't know for sure. Oh, can can you do anything? Hmm, well, maybe if I mixed up a batch of extra special vitamin plant food. Why, yes, that's it. Wonderful idea, off I go. Well, guess we'd better get to the pond if we want to go swimming today. Yeah, I guess. There we was. Down a hole without a coil. And then we heard something that made us wish we was anywhere but there. <gasps> hey now, that canteen is iron, Buster. Kind of hand it over real friendly like. Wouldn't you know it? That critter was skittish as a cat in a room full of rocking chairs. Balleration. Well, now the hair's in the butter. After that varmint. Easy now, boy. Easy. Keep him in the corral. Now, don't get his dander up. I'm gonna... He's on the prod, Plum. You best up lively. And I leapt up on him. Never have you seen such a catawumpus. Yeah! Ride him, Plum. Stick to your saddle. Right in the end. Get in. Well, I'm here 
to tell you, it was a rip snorting ride. That varmint threw me and was about to head for the high horizon. We could see we had just as much a chance taking our loop back as catching a weasel asleep. But we made a fair shake in the end. What do you think there, partner? <laughs> That's okay, big fella. We love you, too. <laughs> so, no almond shavings for my s'more than s'mores? <laughs> Come on. What really made you late? Okay, okay, here's the deal. Uh, it was really, uh, well, all my fault. The truth is... I put it to you, Orange. Might that be the very almond intended for sweet s'more than s'mores recipe? What? Why, well, indeed it is. Oh, whatever was I thinking, I shall squirrel it away, as they say, until an appropriate occasion calls forth the necessity to bring it out in the open. Hey, what? Well said, Orange. Well said. Uh -huh. <gasps> I beg your pardon? Is that polite? Cheeky fellow, eh, what? I say, fellow travellers, let's tarry no longer in this dreadful spot. Off we go! Beg pardon? Run! I must confess, I read like the very dickens. And who wouldn't, being chivied by a fiend, set on Poloning Sweet's precious almond? You there! Why do the plants look like this? That's the mystery. Something's making them turn plaid and polka dotted. But I'm sure you can find the answer in one of your books. No, 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 no. I'm going to solve this case the Patty Persimmon way. And she always begins by gathering clues. And then comes the fun part. Fun part? Yes. Getting into the mind of the criminal. Asking herself how a criminal thinks. Hmm. Why would plants want to be polka dot and plaid? Maybe they were bored. Uh... Aha! I know what's wrong with these plants. Someone has been painting them. Why would anybody do that? Exactly! That is what I'm going to find out. I'm going to wait for the criminal to return to the scene of the crime. They always do that, you know. I learned it from Patty Persimmon, genius detective. <sighs> I'll stay out here all night if I have to. Not a thing will escape my keen eye. And the other one, too. <laughs> Polka dots now. Well, hey, maybe Blueberry solved the mystery. Where is she anyway? She was around here somewhere. Blueberry? You there. So it was you all along. And you're a criminal accomplice. This case is solved. So, what made you do it? Uh, do what? Paint plaids and spots on the berry plants. Uh, we didn't paint anything. Then what are you doing here in the middle of the night? We came to check on you, to make sure you were okay. Actually, it's morning now. Aha! I knew that. I just wanted to see if you knew that I knew. <laughs> you know? Now, if you'll excuse me, I have a mystery to solve. Somewhere out here is a master criminal, a fiend with no sense of fashion. I'm sure you're wondering why I asked you here. I need your help with something. <gasps> Strawberry? Where'd they go? What happened to your glamicure? Oh, 
It wasn't working out for me. It was a little too bright and distracting. <gasps> I know! I can't dance with it. I can't stack my shelves. I can't sleep. And it clashes with everything I wear. How did you get rid of it? We tried everything. Soap and water, ketchup and peanut butter. How'd you do it? I just told Lemon how I felt. And she removed it. You told her? But, 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 is she all right? Did it break her heart? Oh, Strawberry, how could you? I just figured that part of being a good friend is having the courage to give constructive criticism. You know, telling them the truth about something so they can do better the next time. And the other part is taking that criticism in a friendly way, <laughs> which Lemon did. She's fine. Oh, it was driving me crazy. I couldn't think straight. I wanted to hide my head under a pillow. I tried that. It didn't work. But we've been putting up with it because, well, so we wouldn't have to tell Lemon. We kind of avoided it. Completely. We even kind of avoided Lemon. I know. She told me. She was worried you might be upset with her. Oh, no. That's just awful. Poor Lemon. And she even dropped by today to make sure everything was okay between us. And I didn't tell her the truth. Well, there's only one thing to do. You'll just have to tell her. Could we? We... we won't make her feel... bad? You can't make her feel worse than you did by hiding from her. I guess. Yes, we should. We definitely better. I agree. We really ought to... Tell Lemon the truth! <laughs> so, what are you waiting for? You go. Now you go. After you. No, you. Hi! Wow, do you all need appointments right now? Come on. It's what friends do. It's the... Uh, the Glamicures. We kind of think they sort of aren't right for us. Not right? Stop it! Stop it! Stop! <laughs> You're laughing, but why? <laughs> I never... I never realized how bothersome these glamicures could be. Whew. We didn't hurt your feelings? Well, I'm disappointed they didn't work out, but I really wish you'd told me sooner. I mean, you're my friends. I'd rather you were honest with me. I'm sorry we weren't. I've got a great idea. New and improved super glamicures. Uh, super uh, glamicures? Really? I don't um, know. Don't worry. I'll listen to any suggestions you have. Ooh, ooh, controllable colors. And a way to change the tune. Oh, a way to change the beat. A way to turn them off. Yeah! All great ideas. Yeah! <laughs> Especially the off switch. wondering why I called you here today. Because, uh, we're having book club here today? Besides that, you, uh, figured out who's missing? Aha! Close! It's because I've almost figured out who's missing. Just a few more questions, and this case will be closed like a door slammed in a strong wind. My keen detective mind tells me the answers to those questions are in... This very room! What, uh, sorts of questions? What is this person's favorite food? That'd be muffins. Aha! Especially blueberry muffins. Aha! What about hobbies? Uh, uh well, um, uh, oh, she loves to read books. Aha! It's a girl! You said she! I 
I've gathered the clues and I'm putting them together. She likes the color blue and has a suspicious fondness for blueberry muffins. She likes to read books and should be here at book club if she weren't missing. And the only person like that is... Yeah? Well, who is it? Come on, the suspense is too much. The only person like that is... Me. Oh, Way to go! It's you already. You did it, Blueberry. You solved the mystery. So I'm the missing person? <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Yeah, uh, guess I haven't been around so much lately, huh? And we've been missing you. Come quick, everyone, to the grove! 